Hi, Sean Pfeiffer here, a.k.a. Tech by Taz, moderator at Exposed Framework Community on Google+. Just wanted to show you, uh, I'm sure you've heard of it, but a lot of new guys haven't. We're all new at once. So I want to show you Viper for Android. If you just rooted your phone and you're looking for better sound, actually if you're looking for the best sound possible, Download a app called the Viper for Android, all one word. It's not too hard to find to Google it, but I'll try to put it in the description here. Uh, make sure you go to settings and select UI setting and set an expert mode. Okay, it's going to give you a lot more. Uh, a lot more to adjust. See, I'm on phone speaker right now, but you also got a separate head uh, headset, Bluetooth device, and USB dock, okay? Which have more, like the headset has more uh, features than, let, let's say, the uh, uh, speaker does okay phone speaker first thing you do is you turn it on by checking it go down here if you want turn on the fire equalizer uh, you can custom set it up or they got presets you know deep classical flat R&B rock small speakers treble I like to custom set my to my own liking and here's where a lot of the magic happens right here kind of over you're gonna have to download these from a separate site usually I'll try to include that uh, link to uh, you turn this on and first you got to download impulse response files they're called dot irs files the one i like the best which is getting hard to find because dfx took it out of their package is dfx pro surround 2 uh, to me it's by far the loudest and best sounding uh, but that's my personal preference. You might like Harden Carden. You might like here. I'll show you. I mean, there's just there's. I got a bunch of them here. Go through it slow so you can look at them. This program basically turns your phone and your headphones into a reference quality audio system. I don't know if you know what that means, but those are the audio systems in rich people's houses that have separate decks to them, separate amplifier, receiver, all that stuff. Very expensive. A lot of DFX, here's DTS HD, DTS mode, DTS X Factor, Dolby Digital Plus HD, Dolby Digital Plus Stereo, Headphone Cinema, Dolby Headphone Hall, Dolby Headphone Live, Dolby Headphone Room. Dolby Headphone Studio, Dolby Pro Logic 2 Cinema. I mean, it just goes on and on, okay? But anyways, you download them. They come in packs. You enable Conilover here. You go in and pick which one that you want. You want loudspeaker, put on loudspeaker. You can adjust the cross channel 
from 25% to 70%, oh, wait a minute, 0% to 80%. I found with a lot of trial and error, right around 25% sounds good. Reverberation, if you like reverb in your music, uh, I listen to a lot of, you know, rock and stuff, so reverb kind of adds to it. You can turn it off, though. But if you turn on the reverb, you can adjust the room size for the reverb. What's that? The signal strength, basically. Uh, make it sound like a big room or a small room. I got a small room because I'm in a small room. Sound field goes from 5 to 36. I found 8, my personal preference. This is all trial and error. You just go through and listen to it. You put your headphones on. You go through and adjust your headphones. You adjust your Bluetooth, and you just leave it. Dampening factor goes from 0% to 100%. I like it at 30. Wet signal, I like it at 20%. You can go from 0 to 100 Dry signal, you can go from 0 to 100. My preference is 80. Speaker optimization, you want to en enable that. It definitely makes a difference. Extra loud, enable that. It makes a difference. Select effect strength, you can either do slight, extreme, or moderate. I find moderate sounds better, but that's my personal preference. You may have totally different settings. Effect strength. Uh, I've gone through every one of these, and eight's the sweet spot. Maximum output gain. You go from zero to negative ten point five. Master gate limiter. You can go from minus four point four. 0 dB is the straight line. Below that, it gets lower volume. Above that, you get higher volume. Uh, I found the sweet spot on that. On my phone, anyways, my phone speaker, what it can handle is about 2.9 above. 2.9 dB above. What I just do... Oh, limit threshold goes from zero to minus 10.5. Uh, zero is louder than minus 10.5, self explanatory. And that's Viper for Android, folks. Uh, the hardest part of it's downloading the IRS files. And when you do that, when you download the IRS files, they usually come in a zip. Unzip them, and you have to put them in the Viper for Android kernel file, which is found on your SD card. Just go on your SD card, go to the Viper for Android file, open it up. There'll be another folder called kernel, and then put all your .irs files in the kernel folder. And then they'll show up in here and you'll be able to choose them and listen to them and find the best one. Uh, let me see if I can play some music on here. I doubt you're going to be able to hear any difference or anything. This is on a Note 3 with the bottom facing speaker, uh, just so you know. That's Viper for Android. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. 
Next month, I'm going to be getting some professional video equipment and doing a lot more professional videos. Uh, I'm just starting out. If you all could help me out and hit the subscribe button, I sure would appreciate it. Talk to you later. Well, you'll hear me later, let's say. Peace.